potentially Riverside, CRI, any of the other clubs on the... Oh, we have our, we have our first boat. We have Bow One, that Row America ride boat who won last year is coming through our first boat in the U17-4s event coming down the powerhouse stretch, and they are looking strong. We, closely followed by Bow 2, also Row America Rye. Excited to see how this all shakes out. These cru this cruise have really great connection right now. They're really synced up very early in the race. Coming into view now, we have bow number three from Kinesia's High School. These members of this crew won the U-17-4 at the CSSRA Nationals last spring. Great race, and I'm sure they are ready to go very fast down this course today. And we have bow five coming into view. That is Greenwich Crew uh, from Coscob, Connecticut. And following shortly behind them, bow number four, Ridley College, all the way from St. Catharines, Ontario. Next we have a tight little battle between Bow 7, which is OKC Riversport, and TriStar from Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, it looks like it looks like bow number 7 has just passed number 6. You're not allowed to pass boats before the BU Bridge, and that was pretty recently, so this must have they must have just seen their opportunity and taken their taken their move. Wow. And coming up to the Riverside Dock is bow number eight, Glastonbury from Glastonbury, Connecticut. That's what a, a beautiful cool boat. boat. Yeah, exactly. And then we have bow nine from Texas Rowing Center in Austin. All of the members of this crew are 16 years old. And bow number 10, White Rock Rowing from Dallas, Texas. Ooh, it looks like we have a Texas battle coming up. Uh, also from Texas, not 10 and 9. And then we have bow 11, Row, New Jersey, coming up. We have Row, New Jersey practices on Lake Hop Kong. They're under 16-8. Was fourth in the nation last year at Sarasota. Very excited to see what they do today. And coming up is bow number 12, Port Rowing from Port Rowing, New York. Port Rowing is a community organization of nearly 100 high school athletes across Long Island, New York. And then we have Pittsburgh Crew coming up in bow 13 and PNRA Mercer coming up in bow 14. Um, these crews look pretty tight as they enter the powerhouse stretch. I'm sure we're, sure we're going to see some great moves. We have 15. Soggy. And here comes Saga Tuck from Westport, Connecticut coming up. Go Saga Tuck. Wow, really exciting to see all these different crews on the powerhouse stretch. And here comes One Arlington Rowing with bow number 17. One Arlington says that they are the only rowing program that matters, according to our book. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have bow 16 from Austin. Austin Rowing Club's junior boat is about to enter the powerhouse stretch. This is our third Texas crew coming through. A lot of Texas representation today. Love to see it at such an international regatta. Crews can come from anywhere and all over the US, Canada, even some from Europe and Asia. It's fantastic. Coming up, we have a pretty tight battle between bow 18, Bishop Ireton High School, and 19, the Wilmington Youth Crew. Um, 
with 19 just edging past 18, now that they're able to start passing both. They have, bow 19 has orange blades and bow 18 has red blades with a little, little yellow chevron. I would not know what to call that. Oh, a nice battle coming up. Honestly, it's easier to stand. <laughs> Here, I'll let you do this one. Uh, 20 and 21. And then we have Bow 20 having pretty pretty tight with Bow 21. Radner. Bow 20 is Radner from just outside of Philadelphia. And 21 is Moorestown Rowing Club from Moorestown, New Jersey. They're rowing out of the Camden County Boathouse in so southern New Jersey. And they row on the Cooper River. And passing Riverside Dock is Westford Community Rowing from Westford, Massachusetts, a local crew. Westford Community Rowing is proud to sponsor our high school student athletes. Wow, such incredible student athletes balancing rowing, any of their other commitments, and excellence in academics. It's pretty impressive that these youth rowers can really do it all. 23, 24. And now we have bow 23 coming up, Avon High School from Connecticut, and 24, Seton Hall Prep from West Orange, New Jersey. And then tight behind them, we have 25, Firebird Rowing Club from Bensalem, Pennsylvania. And passing Riverside Dock is bow number 26, St. Joseph's Collegiate Institute from Buffalo, New York. They are New York State champions, so definitely people to watch. And then tightly coming up, we have bow 28 and 29 battling it out. 29, 28 is from Nobles and Dedham, local crew. And then 29 is Row Boston from Boston. This is a local rivalry. So I'm sure that these two crews will be just battling it out stroke for stroke throughout the course. And speaking of local crews, bow number 27 passing our dock, Naponset Rowing Club from Milton, Massachusetts. So three local crews battling out as they head to the bridge. And bow 30, again, a local crew. Love to see it. We have Gentle Giant rowing from Somerville, Massachusetts. The Giants are looking awesome coming down. Really fantastic crew with a great coaching staff. Highly recommend. Unexpectedly, we have about 44 youth double coming down. Fantastic looking crew, rowing strong past Riverside. Our next event is the Men's Youth Cox Quad, starting in just a few minutes at 10.51 a.m.